Hi, this is Russ with Devoted Golfer TV. I'm here with Jeremy Butler. Jeremy is the Director of Sales for Fujikura. That's right, Russ. Thanks for having me on today. And usually, Jeremy, these sessions are with Alex D, but I spent an entire morning with Alex D, uh, what is it now, two months ago. And That's one right. of these days, I'm going to get to editing that video. Two and a half hours of Alex and I chatting technology in Nanzo Lab. So That's right. Watch for that. It's coming. Not sure when, but it's coming. I look forward to two and a half incredible hours of, yeah. of video footage from you joining us in our fit on studio to, yeah. to view the Enzo technology. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, you can t for the people that aren't familiar with Enzo, just give them the 30 second. Sure. Uh, for us, Enzo is our 3D motion capture system that we have located in our headquarters in, in Vista, California, and in the, our fitting studio. Mm -hmm. And with that, we have uh, seven high-speed motion capture cameras. Mm -hmm. And what they're looking at is the golf club that everything that it does, twisting, bending, lead lag, toe droop, mm -hmm. forward kick, uh, mm -hmm. looking at all of that pre-impact to the golf ball as well as post-impact, uh, where we see most of the launch monitors out there, uh, we're gathering data that is all post-impact based upon what the ball has done after coming off the club head. Mm -hmm. With Alex and his team with Enso, they've created uh, the ability for us to see everything that happens from the time the golfer addresses the ball, takes mm -hmm. it away, mm -hmm. until after he impacts. Mm -hmm. And from there, uh, it's got a, a myriad amount of data mm -hmm. that, that it can capture. I mean, they run the cameras themselves run uh, over 2,000 frames per second, but yeah. we've, we've slowed them down to 750 frames per second to, right. to yeah. limit the non-data overload that yeah. can come from it. But it, it helps us both in fitting as well as learning. It's a great research tool, tool for us at Fujikura, yeah. and we're, we're happy to have it. It's something that gives us that edge, yeah. we believe, yeah. uh, in the graphite chef market for sure. Yeah, he, he videoed me, and, and I did a few swings, but I was... At that point, I was like six days away from a rotator cuff operation. <laughs> and uh, just delete those swings, okay? I'll pass that along to Alex for yeah, you, Russ. Yeah. yeah, thanks. So let's talk about new products. Okay? Great. So Vista Pro. I mean, I, I didn't realize that we were actually in Vista, California, because somebody drove me there. There so you go. So now I know where the name Vista came from. And Correct. Vista has been, I had Vista Pro's. Back in the early 2000s, ago. that's yeah, correct. Yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, Vista Pro was actually Fujikura USA. That was our first foray into the aftermarket shaft category, mm -hmm. kind of before it really even existed. We yeah. had we had the Speeder branded product that we brought in from Japan, mm -hmm. uh, but the Vista Pro line was the first line that our engineering team here in the U.S. designed and produced mm -hmm. to fit a void that didn't need a void that existed in the aftermarket shafts of having a uh, great quality product, not going to break the bank. Um, right. Someone who wanted a Fujikura shaft but didn't want to spend four or $500 to get themselves a speeder shaft. How so long have you been with Fujikura? I've been with the company for just over 11 years now. Okay. So, so I've been in the industry for 20. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I've, I've been on the club side before. I yeah. spent nearly 10 years at one of the OEMs mm -hmm. uh, in their R&D group. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, jump ship back up to, uh, to the shaft side uh, yeah, about 11 yeah. years ago. Yeah, because you use an interesting term there, the aftermarket, the, the, the driver aftermarket business before it even existed. Correct. And, you know, I always look at, at the speeder as, as creating the aftermarket shaft. We tout it all the time, right? It, we, yeah. we love it. It's uh, yeah. that iconic brand name of speeder. Mm -hmm. um, most golfers, if not all golfers, uh, when you say the word speeder or reference a speeder shaft, mm -hmm. they know you're talking about a qu high quality right. product that hopefully makes everybody a better golfer. Right? Yeah. That, and, that's and our goal I, in the end. And I remember this thing being like beige or something like that. Correct. Way, way yeah, it came out originally. Uh, it, it went through a couple color changes. It, yeah. it started as a kind of a black shaft and then mm -hmm. it it went to the beach and got a tan and mm -hmm. became a, a bronze right, uh, yeah. a bronze one. Yeah, we changed the logo up. Um, but uh, so two color iterations on the Vista Pro it yeah. went through. And then it went away. 
Correct, and uh, much like old thing, m things that happen, right? It, it did. It got replaced by some different brands, mm -hmm. and uh, now we felt it was the time, and uh, we had some uh, great designs that the engineering group had been working on, yeah. and uh, a new sort of platform we wanted to come out with it, and we thought yeah. no better way to do it than than reintroduce the iconic Vista Pro product. Um, product name. It's got some great colors to it. Yeah, yeah. So, so tell me a little bit about the EI profile and and, and the target. Okay, for this shaft. So Vista Pro, the the line is designed to uh, have a shaft that will work for. I'm going to say most golfers out there. Mm -hmm. uh, we designed the the bend profiles so that they they worked in a flighted category for us. So we start with a an ultra lightweight 45 gram. R3 flex offering mm -hmm. that uh, Alex and the team designed to be a, a higher launching uh, product for someone who's looking for a lightweight, maybe a little softer profile, mm -hmm. uh, help them get the ball up in the air a little mm -hmm. bit and uh, you know hit those nice drives that go high and right down the middle. Yeah, yeah. And then as it increases in weight, mm -hmm. we've, uh, we've changed the profile so that as it gets heavier, we get a little lower launch, mm -hmm. a little lower spin. Mm -hmm. So we, we range from 45 grams, 55 grams, 60, 65, and 75 mm -hmm. in the Vista Pro wood shaft line. Okay. So, 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 you're, so you're recognizing that from your experience with Enzo that people that fit into those shafts have a particular characteristic to their swing speed as it affects delivery of the head sure. on the ball. And you're tailing the profiles of these to that particular speed range that you see that weight and flex fitting into. That's correct. So we know typically someone who plays something lighter weight yeah. uh, needs to hit the ball a little bit higher, mm -hmm. right? They keep the ball up in the air. That's what we're trying to do with it. Yeah. And then as if someone or a club fitter needs to help somebody bring their ball flight down a little bit or mm -hmm. decrease their spin a little bit, mm -hmm. they can step up a weight category stay in a similar flex range, mm -hmm. but just up the weight category, and they're going to knock gonna that get launch a little and profile spin down. Change. That's yeah, correct. Yeah. So uh, there's uh, the number of flexes that are available across the line are, uh, it's, it's got a, an enormously wide offering yeah. in flexes, weights, and profiles. Okay. Kay. And so it's not just a driver shaft. <coughs> We've got a hybrid shaft. That is correct. And an iron shaft. And iron shafts, correct. All with the same same look and color associated mm -hmm. with them. Uh, the uh, the hybrid shaft ranges from 40 grams up through 60 and 70 grams. Mm -hmm. uh, we've we've really embraced the lighter weight category with this new Vista Pro line mm -hmm. to be able to accommodate uh, a, a much more broader range of golfers. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing on the iron shafts. We've we've introduced it in a 45i, really? which for us is the first time. We've there aren't too many people making those. We've gone yeah, into yeah, that foray yeah. of the lightweight iron category. Yeah. Um, we we as a company know the benefits that a graphite iron shaft can offer right. most golfers and uh, our compatriots on the steel side. I don't think they can get into that 45 gram range. They're those guys are trying, but I uh, yeah. I think I mean we've got them beat. The walls that get so light. thin. That's right. The walls get so thin. They just. That little mushy. thing, like yeah, what yeah. carbon fiber can do for you, right? Yeah, we, can, yeah. we can get a little bit lighter weight and maintain some stiffness yeah. and, and wall thickness. So we're excited to 45 grams through 70 grams in the irons as well. Mm -hmm. um, they come with a, a 370 parallel tip, so club makers can uh, have some flexibility uh, with a right. hard step or a soft step. Yeah. In uh, It opens up the possibilities for them to truly dial in a product mm -hmm. for their customer mm -hmm. by tweaking those little things. You can go straight in, you can hard step, you can soft step. Right. And uh, again, the fitting range just is so broad with the Vista Pro line. We're, we're very excited um, and it, it fits in a uh, cost effective range. When you say, is this a parallel or is this constantly taper? Um, it is a parallel tip. Okay. So the iron shafts, they come in a single blank so at 40.5 gotcha. in yeah. inches, which yeah. is a, a standard blank two iron, yeah. and it has a uh, about a six inch tip parallel that okay. is at 370. So you got a, yeah, you got a lot of working range yep. there. So there's working range. So if yeah. somebody builds, you know, there's uh, if they're going to build a pitching wedge, you know, we're going to trim, you know, mm -hmm. four and a half inches off the right. tip, yeah. right? And uh, but 
again, with with that long parallel section, gives them some flexibility. They can do whatever they want. That's correct. So yeah, they, if yeah. they if they want to even launch it a little higher, you can leave the tip a little longer, no, yeah. not trim quite as much. Yeah, so yeah, got it. Yep. Not only is the Vista Pro news this year, there's a few more new products. That's Where correct. are we going next year? Uh, we're going to talk about the new Pro Accelerate. So okay. last year we introduced a line called Fujikura Pro. Mm -hmm. uh, if you recall, I had the, the blue graphic on the butt side. Yep. And yep. Uh, so this year we're introducing its brother, which we call Pro Accelerate. Accelerate. Yep. So Accelerate is actually a little play on the, the letters XLR8. So oh, okay. Accelerate. Yep. Okay. You can see God, just the end of it here on yeah, the graphic. Yeah. You so can we see got the, the eight part. The eight, that's right. XLR8, accelerate. Yeah. Accelerate. Yeah. And for us, accelerate is about speed. And uh, it's a, a technology mm -hmm. that we've incorporated into this new version of the Pro Shaft. Okay. And it's derived specifically from what Alex and his team have found from the Enso testing. Yeah, yeah. So maybe maybe some of those swings that you didn't care for when you yeah, were at the yeah. in the fit on studio, they might have even helped us, you know, with what we found out in in data collection uh, to create this new accelerate line of shafts. Okay, and for for us, uh, what accelerate means to us is we've created a new EI profile mm -hmm. uh, based on results uh, we've seen in Enso testing. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we stiffened the butt section stiffen the tip section and created a more reactive midsection. Okay. So by doing that, we found that it we increases. Use, you use the word reactive, I use the word soft, right? You can use soft. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we're a little bit stiffer here. Tomato, tomato. Stiffer. Yeah, right. Correct. And not quite with a bend like that, but just a, that's, yeah. where, that's where your main bending is coming from now in right. this line is yeah. the midsection. Okay. And that came directly from uh, what we saw out of Enso, that when when we design shafts using this profile, the kick speed of the golfer increased. Mm -hmm. Now I'm sure when you and Alex sat down, you talked about kick speed. Yep. Uh, it's a term we at Fujikura like to use, and it's derived from Enso. Right. And it's not only a term you use, it's a property that you can actually measure. That is correct. Yeah. And as an engineer, right, right. data-driven decisions, we right. want to prove. So uh, we're, we're excited to have that as part of our offering. and. With this shaft, uh, we're able to show increases in kick speed for most golfers out there. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's not one shaft that works for everybody we yeah, know. Yeah. But one but shaft does not fit all. That but is correct. But when you have these options, then you can find that shaft that works that for is that correct. particular guy. That yeah. is correct. Yeah. So that's what Accelerate does for us. The other thing by, by stiffening the butt and stiffening the tip, we've been able to bring the launch and the spin down compared to its brother that we introduced last year. Mm -hmm. So we have the new Pro Accelerate, little lower launch, a little lower spin okay. than, than the Pro that stays in our product offering for this year. Mm -hmm. One of the other things we've done... And, and that had a similar kind of profile. I mean, we're not talking about something dynamically different. Uh, we're, we're talking about fine-tuning. No, we did make some changes. We Last year's Pro has a more forgiving butt section softer if you use uh, yeah, your yeah. word rust, yeah. softer butt section to it and we stiffened the mid and the tip to get higher launch with lower spin. Okay. This year with moving that softer section to the mid, mm -hmm. we've been able to bring our launch down and increase that kick speed mm -hmm. we've seen in testing mm -hmm. and uh, ultimately accelerate the golfer. That's mm -hmm. what we want to do and with this profile we see uh, faster club head speeds, faster ball speeds, mm -hmm. and for the devoted golfer, more distance. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the other things that's unique to the Accelerate family is the uh, balance point of the shaft is a little bit higher towards the butt section. So you can handle the heavier headweights. Can handle yeah. the heavier headweights, right. We yeah. introduced that first last year with a, another model, mm -hmm. and uh, we've incorporated some of that into the, the Pro Accelerate for this year. So compared with the Blue Pro, this one does have a lighter swing weight value. And okay. you can see that in our catalog. We actually print the swing weight values in our catalog this year. Okay. And uh, the Accelerate lines have lighter swing weights than their non-Accelerate brothers. Okay. And again, give some and options. So, so the Accelerate technology is moving also onto the Speeder line, right? That's correct. So, so here's our next. Yep, the next one we're going to talk about is Speeder Pro. Yeah. So we introduced last year Speeder Pro uh, into our lineup and this mm -hmm. year we've added the Accelerate technology into the Speeder Pro 
and mm -hmm. created a, a new model for that line mm -hmm. as well. Okay. Uh, last year's Speeder Pro model, uh, same thing, designed to get the ball up in the air a little bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year with, with Speeder Pro Accelerate, we've designed it with a stiffer butt and stiffer tip mm -hmm. and a reactive midsection to it, mm -hmm. uh, which is the, the EI profile we've learned from the ENSO testing. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we've put that with the, uh, the Speeder Pro, uh, we've been able to see great results in this line as well. Uh, so how do these two shafts differ? How, wh what am I going to see different between the Pro Accelerate and the Speeder Pro? No, Speeder you're Accelerate. Sp speeder Pro Accelerate. Speeder Pro Accelerate. That's right. Okay. The, um, one of the first things that you're going to see is the uh, butt section profile. Mm -hmm. uh, speeder Pro and Speeder Pro Accelerate have a larger butt section to it. So at the very end, we've got a butt OD that is in the 635, 640 range. Really? And a la, that came from the original Speeder 757, uh, those who recall back in the, the I've day. i still got a few of them laying around. That's right. Yeah, so, yeah. so they had a 635, 640 butt in that. So we've brought that into this line. And with that butt OD where it's at, we've also created a state a straight taper profile from that butt section. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So correct. So you're not tapering all the way up. You're just you're coming. That's correct. In and then you're just other holding. other shafts have. If you have a shaft that maybe has a 600 or a 605 butt OD, has a parallel section that goes yeah, with it. Yeah. So this one we've taken and blown that parallel out and yeah. created the straight taper profile to it. So that's one of the first things you'll notice. And, and that's that's that's, that's going to tweak into the EI curve, isn't it? Um, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So. So instead of constantly ascending you, you hit the plateau that you want and then run level out that's correct so yeah. it's all about ei right alex yeah, and his yeah. team we we believe in it we're believers yeah so for sure uh the second thing you're going to notice the difference between uh speeder pro and pro accelerate is uh the speeder pro has an even higher balance point to it so it's got a much lighter swing weight than even the pro and we accomplish that with a technology we call HDCC, High Density Composite mm -hmm. Core. Mm -hmm. So we introduced that first last year. Uh, it's included in the Speeder Pro line of shafts, mm -hmm. meaning we've taken this composite core that mm -hmm. Alex and his team have created. Mm -hmm. We've shifted it up towards the butt side. Mm -hmm. So we've moved weight towards the handle mm -hmm. and give us that counterbalanced or uh, lower swing weight feel. Give some flexibility to the club builder mm -hmm. uh, to build at standard lengths mm -hmm. or over length mm -hmm. and not have your swing weight go through the roof, which right. we don't want to have happen all the time. Yeah, so you know, and it's not a bad thing putting a little more weight in the handle. I mean, uh, correct. It's I think there's a couple. I think well there's a couple good golfers that have yeah, played yeah, around with yeah, that. Yeah, a little there's bit, been right? a lot of, and there are a lot of products out there that correct. Uh, you know, when and when you use those products, you learn it's not a lot of weight. It's just a little bit of weight up there. Just gives a little more sense of feel. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, another difference between the Pro and the Speeder Pro Accelerate lines that we've, we've done, we, in order to keep the stiffness uh, where we want it in that tip section, in the butt section, mm -hmm. with doing a weight shift, uh, we've gone in the middle, and Alex and his team have created this multi-axial midsection. So we know in uh, graphite shafts, mm -hmm. we use uh, carbon fibers that travel in 45 degree angles, that gives you torsional stiffness. Mm -hmm. They travel in a zero degree angle, that gives you bending stiffness. Mm -hmm. And we've e even added some that go in the 90 degree angle, hoop. okay, yeah. hoop strength, right. right, to give us added strength through that midsection. So as mm -hmm. we've softened it to create that um, reactive midsection, we've gone back in and reinforced it by using some fibers that to are create traveling. torsional and twisting stability. torsional hoop strength yeah, uh, yeah. as well as bending strength so yeah. it's got a lot going on there yeah. a term we use around the office is rocket surgery it's a combination of rocket science and brain surgery mm. that's what we mm -hmm. do so it's it truly is rocket surgery for us yeah, yeah. so it's it's much more complicated than some people think right and uh, we've we've got some weight ranges uh, we we believe in uh, offering uh, from 53 grams up through 73 grams mm -hmm. on both the Speeder Pro Accelerate and the Standard Pro Accelerate. And for the stronger guys out there, we've got some tour flexes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we expect to see uh, our tour rep, Pat McCoy, putting some of that out on tour for us. We're, we're excited. Uh, we've gotten them in stock now, and we're ready to start going. Uh, the other thing, I uh, don't know how well it shows up on your video here, we've got some great uh, graphic looks to the Speeder mm -hmm. Pro Accelerate. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we, we introduced last year a combination of high gloss and matte finishes. Mm -hmm. um, while, it, while it may not be a, a, a technical aspect of it, yeah. it sure looks cool, Russ. Yeah. And I love how when you flip these over, the, the color goes um, that's well right. it, it reverses that's it's, right it's interesting graphics. yep and yeah. and on this on the speeder pro you get a sweet fujikar on one side and actually when you flip it over you get the speeder as well so okay right we have yeah. to we have to get the speeder name out there and you keep do. it out yeah. there for sure okay jeremy okay thank you russ thanks for your time appreciate you letting us talk a little bit about fujikar products so today jerry from fujikura here with us at pj merchandise show in 2016 and look for availability of these products Right now. Now, correct. Yeah. Yep. They're there. I've got them in stock. So, so see your Fujikura charter fitter. Charter dealer. Charter charter dealer. Yep. And, and he will fit you. And he will fit you. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Russ.